I think the great thing about near neighbours is, as the Secretary of State more or less said, it under promises and over achieves. And that's actually much the best way of doing it. Uh, it's very much grassroots, and this new expansion gives huge opportunities. And we need to recognise how important that is. Um, uh, the Imam spoke a moment ago about the group from Nigeria who are here. They're actually uh, at Lambeth Palace at the moment, this very moment. I'm going off to see them in a few minutes. And they were deeply struck by the work you're doing here uh, at, uh, at, in the Old Kent Road at the mosque and at St Peter's. They were talking about this when I saw them last night. Um, and they've learned a lot of lessons. They've been up in Leicester, they've seen what Near Neighbours is doing in various places, and they've been profoundly touched by that. And that sets an example of what can be done, and, and it's a really good model. And secondly, within our Christian belief, we know that one of the biggest characteristics of Jesus was not being frightened about who he talked to. He didn't only stick in his own little holy huddle, but he reached out, he told us to love our neighbour, one of his great parables that many people know is the story of the Good Samaritan, which is of the, the conflict of cultures and of history being overcome by the personal contact and working together. And when we meet each other, we deal with fear. We may not agree, but we deal with fear. One of the great examples I've seen in, in the last year, and I think one of the most enjoyable um, mornings I've spent, has been in Saville, where I uh, was last summer, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was last summer. And uh, I think it'd be true to say that a decent cricketer could actually hit four worship centres from your, from the church's front door with a, with, with a cricket ball. Um, it's all so, so close together. And yet, uh, the faith leaders there, without any compromise of their beliefs and principles, have worked together so closely that the community flourishes, the local school flourishes, it's building things up. That's at the heart of what Near Neighbours is doing. Um, it's wonderful that the government sees the benefit of that, and we are deeply grateful for that, and to the Church Urban Fund, who've worked extremely hard, and we undertake the Secretary of State to use the money as best we can, and to use this extra money effectively and thank you again very much indeed and thank you to the people who do the real work here because we just get to stand up and talk and the people here are the ones who deliver so thank you